everyone. We come to our wonderful session that we've all been waiting for. We hear that exams are around the corner. The government lifted up the sanction for the lockdowns and uh, schools will be opening very soon. And so exams will be coming. And so as Diamond Learning Academy, we prepared something for our examination students uh, nationwide and uh, within the, the country and the nation. My name is Daniel Mangambwa and I'm a tutor in mathematics at uh, Diamond Learning Academy. And today I'm going to have a wonderful and interesting session in mathematics paper two, which we are going to enjoy and at the end of the day understand. And it will aid us in having our positive results and above all our distinctions that we've all been looking for. So I've picked and selected two questions from mathematics paper two, uh, 2017 and uh, 2013 questions from section A, and we're going to go through together so that at the end of the day, we're able to compute and understand the formulas behind and the tricks that examiners expect us to employ and uh, execute in the examinations. So join me and come with me, everyone, to our wonderful session this morning. Okay, so here's a question that is coming from the examination questions. Question one, which is saying simplify. This question is saying uh, simplify 3y squared minus y minus y minus 12 over y squared minus 9. So I've discovered to say these questions have been giving our students a lot of challenges and we said that today to make things very easy for each and every one of us. And so here is how we proceed. So if you look at the top part of this expression, it's basically what we call a quadratic expression. The, de the denominator, which is the down part, is what we call the difference of two squares in mathematics. So the problem with students is on the quadratic expression when trying to factorize it. So how is our thinking and how is our reasoning when we come across such kind of questions? So 3y squared minus 5y minus 12. Here are the steps that we use to calculate and reason in those questions. So I put the workings here. So what we do, you, you go to the first number, which is 3 there, and you also check on the last number, which is negative 12. So you find the product of 3 and negative 12, which will give us negative 36. From there, you list down the factors of negative 36, which when you add, should give you negative 5. So that is where the secret is. So we've multiplied 3 by negative 12, which is giving us negative 36. Then we move on to say, among the factors of negative 36, which ones, when you add them, should be able to give you negative 5? So I have picked negative 9 and positive 4. So I was able to see them here. So this is, this is a negative 9, and that is a positive 4. Negative 9 plus positive 4 will give us the negative 5 that we are looking for in the equation. So the expression has now grown. It has become 3y squared minus 9y plus 4y minus 12. So things are beginning to get simplified now. So when we insert them in the equation, we now divide the expression in two parts. So here is what I've divided. So 3y squared minus, minus 9y, I've put a dash there, in, uh, indicating that we are dividing them, then plus 4y minus 12. So I've divided the expression in two parts so that I'm able to simplify and factorize in an easy way. So I'm going to deal with the first part uh, of the equation that I've divided. So 3y minus 9y, that will be the first part I'm going to work on. So I'm going to ask myself to say, among uh, the variables that are, that are being expressed in the, first, in the first expression, which ones are common? So if you, look at this, if you look at this expression, 3 and y are common factors of the expression. So I'm going to take out my 3, which is, which is this part, and I'm going to take out a y also because it's common, it's appearing both sides. So it's appearing here and it's appearing there. So the next part is what has remained now? So if you look at this expression here, what has remained is basically the y alone there. Then the negative sign just drops there. That's the negative sign you're able to see there. Then the 3 into the 9 is giving us a negative 3. Then we can proceed to the other part of the equation, which is saying 4y minus 12y. So now the question that comes in, what is common in that uh, expression, we need to factor it, factor it out. So if you look at 4y minus 12, when you factorize, the common factor is positive 4, which I've removed outside here. And after I've removed it, I need to know to say what has remained 
from where I've taken it from. So I'm going to say, since I've removed out the 4, what has remained where there was 4 is basically the y alone. Then the negative also is going to drop there. Then I'm going to say 4 divided into negative 12, it will give me negative 3. So as we see where we have factorized the top part, which is the numerator, has been factorized. So at this stage, we go to the bottom part, the denominator, which is basically a difference of two squares. So y squared minus 9 is basically a difference of two squares. When we factorize it, we end up with two expressions. So we have uh, y minus 3 and y plus 3. After we factorize the, 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 the denominator, we need to go back to the numerator and get the final factorization factors. Okay, so here is how we get them. So we get our 3y that is outside there, which is this one here. And we also get the 4 that was common on the other part. We put it there so it becomes, and it becomes an equation as well. So we are saying 3y plus 4y, or 3y plus 4, which is the 3y here, and the positive 4 there. So as we proceed now, we're able to notice one common thing. We're able to say y minus 3 is also common there, which is y minus 3. So just pick one of them. So I've just picked this one here. I've dropped it to that part. So we're able to see now to say the numerator has become 3y plus 4y in brackets and also y minus 3, which is basically, I've just picked from one of them there. Then I go down to the denominator, which was a uh, difference of two squares uh, from this expression here, we're able to see. So I've, I've got y minus 3 and I've got y plus 3. So at this stage, I now pick out what is common between the numerator and the denominator. So 3y plus 4y, y minus 3, y minus 3, and y plus 3. You notice to say the common, the common part is y minus 3 and y minus 3. So we simply cancel it out and cancel it out. So what has remained is the final part of the solution. So I've got 3y plus 4, which is that part there. And I've got y plus 3, which is the denominator. So it becomes that part. So this is the solution for the first part of the question. 3y plus 4 and y plus 3. So at this stage, I'll move on to another similar question that we got from uh, the examination questions as well. Uh, we're going to apply basically the same principles and the same concepts. Okay, so let's move on to question 2. It is also saying simplify this expression that is basically down there. Okay, so what is the question saying? 2y squared minus 3y minus 5 over y squared minus 1. So we're able to notice and observe to say they're basically the same questions, but they're just giving them different expressions. The bottom part, which is the denominator, is basically a difference of two squares. Then the numerator is also a quadratic expression like we had in the first equation. And so like we said, the first step when we are trying to compute or factorize the uh, numerator, we look at the first number in the expression and the last number in the expression. So we find the, the product of those numbers. So what we are trying to say is 2 we multiply by negative 5, which is basically this working here. 2 we multiply by negative 5, it will give us negative 10. From there we are going to say which factors of this negative 10, which when you add should give you the middle part, which is negative 3y. Okay, so I picked negative 5 and positive 2. So when we say negative 5 plus 2, it should be able to give us the negative 3 on the middle part. Okay, so once you get those factors, you insert them in the expression itself. So this is the part where we have inserted them, we put them there. Okay, so the, the expression has grown to 2y squared minus 5y plus 2y minus 5. At this stage, we divide the quadratic expression in two parts. That is the line that you are seeing, the demarcating line that you are seeing there. After demarcating, we begin to factorize those expressions. So I'm going to say 2y squared minus 5, and I'm going to ask myself to say what is common between those expressions. So when we look at this, we're able to say that only y is common there. So I'm going to factor it out. By factoring, we're only saying remove it out from the expression. So I've removed it there, and the next part is what has remained in that expression. So what has remained is 2y minus 5. 2y minus 5 has remained from this expression that I've factored out. So I'm going to move on to the next part, which is positive 2y minus 5. 
same principles, same concepts. What is common between them? The common part is the positive one. So I've removed my positive one, which is common. What has remained is the 2y minus 5. So just like from the first expression, we saw that there was y minus 3 and y minus 3. It has appeared also here, 2y minus 5 and 2y minus 5. Once we check that, it means that we're moving in the right direction. So once we do our factorization on top there, we need to go downwards on the denominator, on the difference of two squares. Okay, so y squared minus 1 simply becomes y minus 1 and y plus 5. Okay, so I move on to this stage where I pick uh, y plus 1, so which is the y plus 1, and I just pick any of those because it's the same expression. So this is 2y minus 5, then I got the de denominator which is the, uh, the difference of two squares, so y minus 1 and y plus 1. So at this stage we're almost done with the, with, with the question, we just uh, cancel those uh, expressions that are common both sides. So y plus 1 and y plus 1, cancel them out because they are the same. What has remained is uh, 2y minus 5 as the numerator and uh, y minus 5 as the denominator. So that was uh, the question. So in a summary, they are basically the same questions applying the same principles of uh, factorization. And we've come to the end of our session this morning. Hope we have learned one or two things. Uh, we look forward to our next uh, session for the other presentations and other topics. Thank you so much.